Good morning, welcome to Film My Run. My name's Stephen Cousins. Today we're at Hampton Court. We're doing the Hampton Court Half Marathon. It's not actually Hampton Court, I think we're in Thames Ditton. I'm going to try and pace my wife to a sub 150 half marathon. It's never been done before, but I'm going to get her in. Don't you worry about that. It's a, it looks like a really nice day. There's about 4,000 runners. I've never run this race before, so I'm interested to see what it's going to be like. It, it was supposed to be a family day out with my two brothers, but one of them's injured, so my other one is running. This is Simon. The race has already started. We're going off in waves of about 500 each. Victoria thought she'd look like an idiot if she wore a backpack, but everyone's wearing backpacks. There's loads of them. Instead, she's getting me to carry her bottle for her. Here we go. Time to call half marathon. to the Hampton Court half. We're on time in terms of pace, but it is very busy and we are on open road. There's a sign saying run on the pavement, but it's, it's really not possible because there are so many people. It still feels a bit dangerous to me, but um, we're running past the race village. Okay, let's just stop and talk about road crossings. You can see this race was very busy. We're on a main road that's open to traffic. At one point, we did come to a road crossing where there was a marshal doing his best to keep order, keep everyone safe. And he did shout out clearly for everyone to stop to let the traffic through. Now, one runner ignored this and ran straight onto the road risking his life, risking the safety of people in cars and the safety of the other runners. Please, if a marshal asks you to stop at a road crossing, it is an instruction and it's in the rules that you need to listen and adhere to the instructions of marshals. They're doing their job, they're doing it to the best of their ability and they are volunteers, so please listen. <laughs> Okay, we're nearly four miles into Hampton Court Half. It still hasn't thinned out very much. There's still loads of people, but at least we're by the river now instead of on the road. Can we all have a good time? Yeah! Five miles into the Hampton Court Half Marathon. And uh, we're doing all right. We're keeping pace, everything's all right. If you know the Thames Meander Marathon, that's where this comes, just around here. We're just over six miles into the Hampton Court Half. A little bit of river running, a little bit of road running. Still very, very crowded. Enjoying ourselves though, because it's sunny weather, it's nice. Victoria, the fool that she is, saw that she was on for a 10k PB, so she sprinted on up ahead to try and get that. <laughs> I don't think she's got it now, I think she's just missed it. Thank you! Look, I know, I know this is a residential street, right? But this is not a closed road, and look, there are just far too many people to be on this road. I reckon next year they've really got to look at capacity in this race. Eight miles into the Hampton Court half. The sun is still shining. There's still loads and loads of people on the course. It hasn't thinned out at all. We're enjoying it, it's all right. It's <laughs> Sorry, I'm enjoying it. I don't know about everybody around me. It's 
So we're just passing Hampton Court Palace, three miles to go. We might try and speed up in a minute if Victoria feels up to it. High-fiving Henry VIII coming up. Yay! Yay! It's the final water station here. Just over two and a half to go. Smile of the Hampton Court half. Still sun shining. Beautiful day. Victoria is going to beat her PB. Hiya. Just need to get in as quick as we can now. Last little bit. Nice finish in the park. Well done, buddy. Well done. Well done. There we are, there's the medal. We came in at 148 something. Yes! Yes! Hey! Back of the net, Ted. Back of the net. <laughs> What'd you get? 46. We jogged from the car park at Sandown Racecourse um, to the start because the bus was charging at the park and ride £5 per person. For us that would have been £15. Now surely they should be encouraging car sharing and maybe charging £5 for, per car. But £15 for three of us seems extortionate so we jogged to the start. Another one, well done! Good stuff! final thing to say about this half marathon on very busy roads is that, do you know what, so many people are wearing headphones and I'm sure that is against the UKA policy that on, on races with open roads that you shouldn't be wearing headphones. Maybe it's down to the race director, I don't know, but given my concerns in the first three miles of this race about this particular road here, so just look, look how busy this road is and remember what it was like when we had 4,000 runners kind of spilling out onto the road at the same time and then you've got people wearing headphones as well who can't hear any direction from other runners or from marshals. Recipe for disaster, possibly? There we are, that's it from the Hampton Court Half Marathon. Victoria got her PB 148. And uh, you know what, it's been a lovely day all day. We didn't think it was gonna be sunny, but it has been, so it's been gorgeous in the sunshine. Um, do you know what, I'm gonna complain though about those first three miles, really dangerous on the roads. I don't think the organizers have assessed the capacity as it's grown for over the last few years. They really need to address that because at some points there was runners running right out in the middle of the road on open roads with quite busy traffic. So that needs to be looked at. Other than that, it's been quite nice. We ran along the River Thames for quite a while. Um, you know, it's road running, it's track running, but it was fun, I enjoyed it. So that's it for the Hunter Court Half Marathon. Do please subscribe to the YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash filmmyrun, facebook.com forward slash filmmyrun. If you want to go to the website, it's www.filmmyrun.com. We'll see you for the next race. Take care. Bye-bye.